So I just finished washing all my brushes and my beauty blender. I used this glove from Sigma. It's like the, I don't even know what you call this, the spa glove I think it's called. So I used that and I used the beauty blender solid cleanser. And I was watching some videos while doing this. I did a ton of laundry today and I edited my California vlog, which will already be up, and I will link that down below for you guys, because I have a feeling that this week's vlog will be pretty short, um, since today's already Tuesday, and I'll have that vlog footage for you instead. So yeah, just wanted to show you my accomplishment. <laughs> and yes, this doesn't have a handle. <laughs> I realize that. I like to use this brush in my purse. So I got a bunch of goodies in the mail that I'm gonna end up doing a haul with swatches for you guys of these goodies. But I just wanted to quickly show you what came in the mail when I was out of town. So first off, Ofra sent me this absolutely stunning highlight powder. It's called Powder Cake and Beverly Hills is the name of the color. So beautiful. As you can see, there's different colors. Reminds me kind of like of Bobbi Brown's highlights. Yeah, that is stunning. So I'll be doing swatches soon of that. Then I ordered this off of Hot Look, and it is a Glam Glow set that has a full size of the original Glam Glow exfoliating mask, the clear clearing treatment, um, which is the Super Mud, which is a smaller size, smaller and size of the um, the Youth Cleanse, and then a brush applicator. So it was pretty inexpensive. I think it was forty dollars instead of sixty nine, something like that. Um, here I'll open it just so you can see. It says "Hello, Sexy." And then there are all the products underneath. You see the big Mama Jamas by in there. So yeah, I will show those more detailed again, like I said in a haul. This was my very first. Jeffree Star purchase and this was a limited edition box set of three of his popular liquid lip colors and I actually got one for my friend too. Um, I think I spoke about this on my last vlog that I was like stalking the website and was so lucky to get my hands on this. First of all, I love this packaging. All the pictures on there are so cool, especially Edward Scissorhand. I love him so much. Okay, so you open this up and it says Beauty Lush presents Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And then here are the three beautiful shades. I love the packaging. Now, I will say the only thing I don't love about these so far is the smell. They have like a cherry cough syrup smell to them in my opinion, and I hate the smell. But otherwise, I love the packaging, I love the formula, and these colors are absolutely beautiful. So these are, so this is Gemini, Rose Matter, and Mannequin. Aren't they so pretty? I will have swatches soon for you guys. And then Pop Beauty just sent me a really awesome package. This box, which I have three more exact replicas of what I'm gonna show you to give away. They sent me four of the same thing, which that's pretty cool. Um, so in here are three different powders, highlighting powders. Look at this packaging, I love it. So cool, I'm gonna do an Instagram post with these, so I'll insert that as well and probably show these on Snapchat as well. But here's what they look like when they're opened up. So it looks like they have blush and highlight in them. That's how much they are. And then they also gave me all of their permanent pouch lippies. Brilliant bold colors and a smooth matte finish and long lasting effect. And that are, those are these here which again, super cute packaging. So I'll be showing you those soon in a haul, but I just wanted to quickly show you how cute this packaging was. Hey guys, so it is so hot out, it's 106. But I'm on my way into Ulta. I don't think you can see, maybe you can. There it is, Ulta. Because the new Urban Decay Vice lipsticks came out and I just wanna swatch them and see them in person so I might get like two two or three I ended up getting the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette collaboration the face palette missed out when it first came out and I debated on it and I just decided the heck with it it's limited edition I really want it so I did end up purchasing that online today and it already shipped out um, tomorrow I'm getting some Botox in my head right here see that line right there I'm going to be getting some Botox and it's my first time ever doing anything to my face and I'm really nervous about it but I'm obviously going to tell you guys about my experience because that's how I am. I'm going to tell you everything.
damage. <laughs> I ended up getting two different formulations of the Vice lipsticks. Then I got some Neutrogena makeup wipes to leave at my parents because sometimes I come straight to work, from work to their house and I just want to take off my makeup. So I got some Neutrogena wipes and then, yep, this is the Modern Renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. It just came out at Ulta today and it was stunning and I couldn't resist it. Mm, I have issues, I know, but I'll do a haul soon with swatches. Can't wait to show you guys. I'm probably going to film the haul this weekend, so it'll be up probably next week. Good morning, guys. It's Friday, and I thought I'd show you my makeup really quick. I've been watching Orange is the New Black came back on um, as of today, and I'm on episode two, and I really just want to stay home and binge watch, <laughs> but obviously I can't. So um, today I have the Anastasia Highlight Palette on in Gleam. My blush is this one from Too Faced, I Will Always Love You. And then I have my Cover Effects bronzer on today. And then for my brows, I'm using the Cabral from Benefit and I've been loving it. I haven't stopped using it since I first tried it. I just really love the coloring of it. It stays really well. It's just awesome. For my lips, I have the original Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks in the color Streak. And then for my eye look, I have a combination of the new Anastasia of Beverly Hills palette called Modern Renaissance. I have a few colors from this palette. And then I have a Cover FX. Uh, cover effects now. I have a color pop shadow, this one here in I Heart This, all over my lid. So yeah, that's it. Off to work. Hey guys, I'm lying in bed because I'm so tired. Um, but I wanted to update you on getting Botox for the first time today. So there's like one little dry blood spot right there. But you probably can't even tell now, but I did get 30 units and she punk poked me like on the top of my head where I have that bigger line and then she poked me here, here, and here. And it didn't even hurt really that bad at all. I mean, I do kind of have a higher pain tolerance because I've had been through more pain than that before. I mean, I haven't had a baby, so... I haven't had the most pain in the world, but I didn't think it was that bad at all. Just felt like a bug was stinging you or something, and just like real quick, quick little pokes. Um, so I don't think it was painful. I did get a headache later on in the day. I just took an aspirin and I was fine. It wasn't like a migraine, it was just like a mild headache. And you aren't supposed to lay down for three to four hours. It's now been like almost nine hours, eight or nine hours, so... Um, I'm able to lay down now and go to sleep. I still have to wash my face, so I'm so tired. But I just wanted to say that so far, good experience. So I forget if I've mentioned this. I'm pretty sure I haven't because so many of you ask me repeatedly what I'm doing for my job. I alluded to this on Snapchat, but I work for a cosmetic surgeon and it's a med spa as well. So yeah, <laughs> that's where I got this done. And I actually was very lucky and did not have to pay an astronomical price because I am an employee. So, yeah. <laughs> um, would I continue it? Yeah, probably. I don't think this is something I'm going to have to touch up probably, probably every six months or something. I don't think I'll have to touch it up very regularly. I am thinking about doing my top lip with a little bit of Juvederm, which is a filler. Um, I've wanted to do it for a while and now it's become like a fad or like the thing to do and it kind of makes me not want to do it now that it's become such a big deal. Um, like I like my bottom lip. My top lip's fine, but I feel like I could get, I don't know, I'm probably going to get hate for talking about this, but I feel like who cares what people do, like if... If people want to get Botox, if people want to get their boobs done, if people want to get their nose done, if people want to get their lips done, who cares as long as they're doing it for the right reasons, which is to make yourself happy. And, and if you want to build confidence and feel good about yourself by doing that, by all means, go ahead and do so. That's, that's my philosophy on it. And I didn't need to tell you guys about me getting that done today because I don't really think it's going to be that noticeable to you, but I like sharing that with you. 
And the only reason I'll stop sharing that with you is if it becomes a controversy or something. Ugh, I mean, Vic looks fat when I lay down like yeah, this. I'm really, really tired. I'm probably not even making any sense, so I'll talk to you tomorrow. And see, I can still move for right now. <laughs> um, because it takes a few days to go into effect. So, yeah. Orange is the New Black started this Friday. I'm on episode six, I think. So yeah, that's what I've been up to this Saturday. I've also been doing some editing as well. Um, so yeah, this is the vlog for this week that I'm editing right now, but I also edited another video as well. And yeah, kind of a lazy Saturday. Hey guys, so I'm actually off to the grocery store. I'm just gonna get some stuff to make red beans and rice with sausage. I actually did this recipe in Cooking in the Hive like last year sometime. I'll link that vlog down below for you guys. But my stepdad absolutely loves it and always requests me to make that. So for Father's Day, he doesn't want it for Father's Day because we're gonna take him out to dinner or lunch. But um, he wants it like for his lunches for the whole week. So uh, I did get him some gifts as well but you saw one of them this, like I got him two different kinds of shirts and they're both Star Wars related I already gave him one of them but I'll give him the other one tomorrow and then I got my dad who lives in Florida this big like wine club thingy they're really into wine him and my stepmom so I got him like this sorry I look so crazy right now um, I got him like this set of red different red wines from California and it's really nice so hopefully they enjoy that and I just wanted to come on here real quick because this is probably going to be the end of the vlog. Um, I know it was really short this week. I'm super sorry. I've just been trying to catch up on things since I was gone on vacation last weekend. And if you didn't see that vlog yet, make sure to check out that vacation vlog because that was such a fun one. It was just like an extra one I posted this week. So I'll make sure that's linked down below as well. We had so much fun. And yeah, I just didn't have much else going on during the week because I was working. But next weekend, I'm gonna be meeting up with Karen from Two Orchids here on YouTube. I'm really excited. She's coming down for vacation to see her stepson. So um, I'll get to hang out with her for like a half of a day on Saturday, I believe. We're gonna go shopping into lunch. So that will be fun. Um, but yeah, so next weekend, I'll have a little bit more footage. And then I'll also have Father's Day footage on next week's vlog. And I have really minimal makeup on right now. All I have on is blush, a little bit of foundation, a cream eyeshadow, and I smudged out. I actually like this eye look. It's literally just two things. A cream eyeshadow from, um, what's it called? The tattoo line from Maybelline. Maybelline Eye Tattoo. And then it's a pencil Urban Decay liner smudged on the lash line and that's it and some mascara. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.